Hi, my name is Valeria. I am gonna show you how I mix scroll saw patterns starting from a photo. I use Photoshop for all my patterns. I'm not going to explain how Photoshop works because I don't want to make a two hours video. Anyway, I use very simple tools, so you don't need to be a Photoshop expert to do that. When I open my photo with Photoshop, first thing I do is to go on image size settings and use at least a 300 pixels per inch resolution. Also, I give the picture a realistic size, um, the one that I intend to cut, so that once that I'm done is ready to be printed at, um, as it is. So now, uh, once that I am done this, I am ready to start. Uh, I want to create a black and white picture where the white part will be wood and the black part will be the one that I cut. So I duplicate my background layer and I modify it with a threshold filter, which gives me a black and white eye contrast image. Pixels are converted to white or to black depending on the level I use. In this case, I use two layers with two different threshold levels. A lighter one for the face and a darker one for the rest of the picture. I then use a really simple way to mix the two layers. I put the darker one on top and with the eraser tool I erase the face area so that the lighter layer below will show up. And when I am satisfied I just select the, um, the both layers and I merge them into one. The final touch before starting to work with the pencil, the brush tool, is to apply the cutout filter from the artistic filter gallery. So I set the number of levels, edge simplicity and edge fidelity to my taste until I get a cleaner pattern to work on. I always make a copy of the black and white layer, just in case, and another copy of the original photo that I'll put on top with a low opacity uh, as a reference. From now on, all I will be using is the brush tool. Using it, of course, with different sizes uh, and switching from black to white. And making sure that I'm working on the black and white uh, layer. I, uh, I like to have a all a wooden cut, one piece, so I want all my white parts to be connected uh, without, um, you know, floating islands. And with a 300 pixels per inch resolution uh, and a 12 inches final size, I can go into very small details. The smaller scroll saw blade uh, basically is the equivalent of a 10 pixels brush on Photoshop. So that's it. I will continue working on it until I'm happy. Sometimes it can take a while, so now let's speed it up.
so I like it. And here is my rubber plant. But still two final steps before I'm done. First step is to add a white frame to the pattern. So I go to the canvas size. I add one or two inches starting from the center of the picture. I fill the border with white. I connect the white part of the picture to the frame and then I give it a final uh, resizing. The second step is to make sure that I don't have islands so that all my white parts are connected. To do that I use the magic wand. So I click on any white point with a magic wand. I open then the hue saturation tool and I colorize my selection. This helps me understanding where the islands are. Then I go back through the history tool to my black and white version. I correct the islands. I made the final touches and I save it. Here is my final pattern. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you like it. Ciao!